Welcome back to my new session. I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram First Rate College, Mysore. In my previous session, I have discussed the problems on mathematical induction. So today I will explain about the new concept called recursion. So what is this recursion? The process of defining a problem in terms of simpler way by itself. So recursion in mathematics. Recursion occurs when a thing is defined in terms of itself or its type. It is defining the thing by itself. That is called as recursion. As we have studied in computer science, we have recursion in mathematics also. So, recursion is a process of producing a result by itself. The thing is defined in terms of itself. It is called as recursion. And recurrence relations. What is this recurrence relations? An equation that expresses an general term of the sequence that is A0. A0 is a representation of sequence. Next, I will tell what is the meaning of sequence. A0 in terms of one or more of the previous terms of the sequence, namely, example, you are starting from A0, A1, A2, A3, A4 up to An minus 1. Sequence means a0, A1, A2 up to An minus 1 for all integers n with n is greater than or equal to n0. This type of questions we are solving in recursion and sequence. And when n naught is non-negative integer is called as a recurrence relation for an or difference relation, difference equation. So, this type of questions we are solving in sequencing method also. So, n0 is a non-negative integer. So, non-negative integer is called as recurrence relation. And if the terms of the sequence satisfy a recurrence relation, then the sequence is called solution of the recurrence relation. If your solution, if your terms is satisfying the recurrence relation, that sequence is called as recurrence relation. Clear? And the next topic is sequence. So, very important question for two marks. You can expect this for two marks. So, sequence is an enumerated collection of elements or collection of objects in which repetitions of any sort are allowed is known as sequence. I will repeat. Sequence is an enumerated collection of elements or object in which repetitions of any sort. Sort means what? Arrangements of elements. Sorting. Arrangements of elements in the sense it can be ascending order or it can be descending order. So, this Sequence can consist of any sorting order that allowed is called as sequence. So, sequence is an enumerated collection of objects or collection of elements. And sequence is an arrangement of any object. So, arrangement in the sense ascending order or descending order. Arrangement of any objects or set of numbers in a particular order, set of numbers, example, A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, etc. is a set of numbers. So, it represents this 1, 2, 3, 4 represents the location of the numbers. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 denotes the position of the term. So, position in the sense, it represents the location of the terms. So, this is an example for sequence. So, sequence is a collection of elements or arrangements of any objects. It can be in a any order, any sorting order. So, this sequence allowed the sorting order. Clear? So, it is very important question for two marks. And so, today we will discuss about the recursive 
problems. Recursion means the process of producing a problem or solution in terms of itself. So first problem, obtain a recursive definition for the sequence. So we have one sequence that is an for the following cases. So here we have one sequence that is an is equal to 5 into n. So what is the meaning of sequence? a0, a1, a2, a3 up to an. So if you want to find out the value of an, you have to start from the beginning that is called as sequencing order. So a0, a1, a2, a3 up to an. So here if you want to find the value of an, you have to start from a1, a2, a3, a4 up to an. So directly you can't find the value of an. So first you have to start from a1, a2, a3, a4 then you will get the value of an. So how to find the value of a1? So now n is equal to 1. So put the value of n. So 5 into 1 is equal to 5. And the next value is a2. So a2 means n is equal to 2. So 5 into 2 is equal to 10, right? So 5 into 2 is equal to 10. So for representing the value of a2, I will take the value of a1 also. 10 means I can write it is 5 plus 5, right? So 5 means I can write it is a1. a1 value is equal to 5. So in place of 5, I can write it as a1 plus 5 or 5 plus a1. So I'll write a1 plus 5. Clear? So this is the value of a2. So a1 means 5, a2 means a1 plus 5 and what is a3? a3 means n is equal to 3. So 5 into 3 is equal to 15. So 15 means you can write it as 10 plus 5. Right? Now, in place of 10, you can put it is a2. So, a2 means what? It is 10, right? So, 10 means I have written 5 plus 5. But the value of a2 is 10. So, in place of 10, I can write it is a2 plus 5. a2 means 10. So, now n is equal to 4. So, a4 is equal to 5 into 4. It is 20. Clear? So now 20 means I can write this 15 plus 5. 15 plus 5 means it is 20, right? So in place of 15, I can write it is A3. A3 plus 5. A3 plus 5 means it is A4. So now you can find the value of An. So what is the value of An? An is equal to First you observe this, a1 is equal to 5, a2 is equal to a1 plus 5, a3 is equal to a2 plus 5, a4 is equal to a3 plus 5, then an is equal to an minus 1 plus 5. How it is n minus 1? Because every time one value is reducing. So here a2 is there but here a1 is there so it is n minus 1 and here we have a3 so we got a2 plus 5 because one value is reduced and a4 is there so we will get a3 plus 5. So one value is reducing in each and every term. So finally an is equal to an minus 1 plus 1. So an is equal to an minus 1 plus 5 is a correct value of an. Clear? Therefore, a1 is equal to 5 and an is equal to an minus 1 plus 5 for n is greater than or equal to 2. So, this is the type of recursion method. So, next problem is an is equal to 6 power n. Here, we have to find the value of an. So before that you have to find the value of a1, 2, 3, 4 and an. So first I will find out an. So a1 means n is equal to 1. So a1 is equal to 6 power 1. 6 power 1 is equal to 6. And a2, n is equal to 2. a2, 6 power 2. 
6 power 2 means I can write 6 into 6 is equal to 36, right? So now in place of 6, I can write it as A1 because A1 value is equal to 6. So now in the next step, so in place of 6, I can write it as A1. So A1 into 6 and A3, A3 equals 6 power 3. 6 power 3 means 6 square into 6. I can write if you are adding the power values 6 power 2 into 6. So base values are same. So you can add the exponential values that is 2 plus 1 it is equal to 6 power 3. So 6 power 3 means you can write it is 6 power 2 into 6. So 6 power 2 means I can write it is a2 clear 6 square means it is a2 that is a2 into 6. So you got a1 into 6, a2 into 6. So also you can written as 6 into a1 and 6 into a2. Now a4, 6 power 4. So 6 power 4 means you can write 6 power 3 into 6. 6 power 3 into 6 means it is 6 power 4. Now in place of 6 power 3, you can write it is a3. a3 into 6 or 6 into a3. 6 a3. Clear? So now you can find the value of a n. So you just observe this again. So a1 is equal to 6. a2 is equal to 6 into a1. a3 is 6 into a2. a4 is 6 into a3. So again in every step one value is reducing. Therefore an is 6 into an minus 1 because a1 is equal to 6 and an is equal to 6 into an minus 1 for all n is greater than or equal to 2. So this is a solution. It is very easiest question. Easily you can simplify this problem. So next problem is an is equal to 3n plus 7. So first we have to find a1, a2, a3, a4 and an. So what is the first step? a1. If n equals 1, 3 into 1 plus 7 is equal to 10. Right? And a2, 3 into 2 plus 7, 6 plus 7 is equal to 13, right? So 13 means, I'll write 10 plus 3. 10 plus 3. So in place of 10, I can write it is a1. So a1 plus 3 is the answer. So now a3, 3 into 3 plus 7 equals 3 3 is a 9 plus 7 is it is 16 16 means you can write it is 13 plus 3 right you can also write 13 plus 3 is equal to 16 so now in place of 13 you can put it is a2 so 13 means it is a2 so a2 plus 3 is the answer so now find the value of a n so a n is equal to here every time one value is reduced again so for a1 you got 10 a2 is equal to a1 plus 3 a3 is equal to a2 plus 3 so a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 3 therefore a1 is equal to 10 and a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 3 for n is greater than or equal to 2 and the next problem is find f of 1, f of 2, f of 3 and f of 4 where f of 0 is equal to 1. We know the value of f of 0 is equal to 1 but we have to find these four values. So next problem is find f of 1, f of 2, f of 3 and f of 4 where f of 0 is equal to 1. We know the value of 0 is equal to 1. We have to find the value of f of 1, f of 2, f of 3 and f of 4. So now the question is f of n plus 1 is equal to f of n plus 2. 
So now I'll put the value of n, n is equal to 0, 0 plus 1 is equal to f of 0 plus 2. So what is the answer? f of 1 equals, f of 0 means, I can write it is 1, f of 0 means, we know the value of f of 0, it is 1, so 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So f of 1 is equal to 3. So next, n is equal to 1. So n is equal to 1 means f of 1 plus 1. Substitute the value of n. f of 1 plus 1 is equal to f of 1 plus 2. So what is the value of f of 1? It is 3. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And next is n equals 2. So now we got the value of f of 2 and f of 1. f of 1 is equal to 3. f of 2 is equal to 5. Next find out. Substitute the value of n. n is equal to 2. So 2 plus 1 is equal to f of n plus 2. f of n means it is 2. The value of n is 2. So f of 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. What is the value of f of 2? It is 5. f of 2 is 5. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So f of 3 is equal to 7. And put n is equal to 3. Now substitute the value of n, f of 3 plus 1 is equal to f of 3 plus 2. What is the value of f of 3? It is 7. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. It is f of 4. So finally you have to write all the values. So f of 1 is equal to 3. f of 2 is equal to f of 2 is 5 and f of 3 is equal to 7 and f of 4 is equal to 9. So this is the answer. So here they will give one value that is f of 0 is equal to 1 they have given. So we need to find the value of f of 1, 2, 3 and 4. The given statement is f of n plus 1 is equal to f of n plus 2. It is very simple concept. Please practice the problems. Here by substituting the value of n easily we can find the value of 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. In my next session I will discuss the problems on sequence. Thank you.